Okay, so the final part that I want to show you is the reproduction mode and the color calibration settings that can now be applied with focus. This is particularly useful if you are working under very precise or specific conditions where you may be recording historical documents or artwork or paintings in a museum format or a, an institute um, and you want to control the colors very, very precisely and accurately. Now, obviously the Hasselblad system is already set to record very accurate colors, but it is primarily focused on recording accurate colors for portraiture, people, product photography, studio photographers, landscapes. If you want a greater degree of control for things like archival purposes, then this is where the uh, reproduction uh, panel and the camera color configuration can be useful. So over here we see reproduction mode. I'm just going to go to uh, a color swatch chart here that I photographed. Now I photographed this color swatch chart under the HMI lights that we are using at the moment, which is a daylight balanced continuous light source. And the first thing I need to do is to neutralize it. So I take my neutralize uh, tool here click neutralize and that's neutralized the gray as you can see and if we actually take our color values we can see look at that they should all be nice and neutral which they are turn that off again uh, now we basically want to create our own profile and the first thing I'm going to do is just check the box reproduction mode you can see how that adjusts the image there to a much more flatter looking image it's very similar to sort of a log file in video format and we've now got the option here in color calibration to go into edit and choose to create our own calibrated profile. So we'll target color checker on here. I'm going to say auto locate. And you can see that those red um, control area has automatically selected the color checker. I say calibrate and it has now calibrated it based on the information on the color checker. That's one of these, that is actually this color checker. So if you're a professional photographer in a studio environment or working in an archival environment, you'll be familiar with these type of things. Um, so these are a sort of test plate, if you like, um, for knowing exactly what the colors should be. So we've said calibrate. I can now name the calibration. It's named it by default at a specific date and time. And I say create and it's done that. I say done and that is my calibration uh, produced. And now I can now set my color calibration to that particular profile. And that's it. So now every picture that I take going forwards using that profile has been calibrated for this particular color chart under this particular lighting source. And then if you were going to shoot another series of images under a different lighting source or a different set of circumstances, again, you would introduce your color checker card or your color checker chart, photograph it under those circumstances and run through this calibration process to suit. And that's it, it really is that simple. So hopefully that's given you a good overview of the Focus software. You can see how uh, versatile it is. You can see the uh, incredible level of control that you have over your images and how by using the Focus software, we have very precise adjustments and control over our raw Hasselblad files. Thanks very much.